you have citizenship. Your parents have citizenship here in America, and you go overseas. Or say you say your parents are going uh, on a on a second honeymoon. Okay, they're going on a second honeymoon, um, and. Right. Okay. Would, would you be a uh, United States citizen? Would Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Yes, that's correct. You would. On, you would have to look at it in, in certain aspects. No, you wouldn't. Because technically, you could, you could claim yourself as being, uh, you could be a German. No, you, know, you can't. No, because you because you have a passport. That passport gives you a, that get that gives you, that grants you freedom. There's like anybody. It's like somebody being deployed over, um, like my, uh, like Shirley, who's out, who's over in North Korea. I mean, no, South. Sorry, not South Korea. South Korea. She had a son over there. She was the, She had. She she was married to her husband in the United States Army, First Battalion, and I'm telling you, uh. Uh, they they had a son, and he and they had citizenship, and in on in American soil because we are again, it's like had like Israel, we are allies is over Israel. Doesn't matter. I understand that, but you're not looking at the fact of dual citizenship is what you're not looking at. You know, there's a lot of people out there that have dual citizenship. Well, Ted Cruz is born. His parents were had had a citizenship here in this country. His dad was from Cuba originally, but he got a citizenship. Ted Cruz was born. Um, this happened to be in Canada because it was, again they were on their honeymoon, but they had citizenship here. Same thing. I mean, people don't recognize that. If you don't understand that, read Ted Cruz's book. In Germany, to two American parents could also become a dual uh, national. For, uh, visiting. Uh, under Germany law, such as a person has two choices between American and German citizenship. So, you know, that's where I'm using it as an example. It all depends. See, in order, you have to, you have, to have a country. In order to declare yourself as a country, Matthew Virgin, he's from Australia. Okay, he's not really here. His country is Australia. Now, if Australians give him up, then he wouldn't have a country. You know, it's just kind of like the same thing. And no, it's not. You have to Matt, Matt Virgin is a terrorist. He's 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 lost all ISIS member. We found that out. We found he's an ISIS member. He has he has lost his citizenship being in this country. He's no longer he's no longer a citizen. By the way, he is, or he he's no longer has a visa anymore either. He is a threat. What I'm trying to say is, is it all depends on, on the country and the law. No, because I don't not just the law. It has it has to do with moral. Uh, the constitution right. people. And, you know, so they're, they're, it all depends on policies and things like that. And, you know, first of all, if you're pregnant, I wouldn't be going overseas and having a child anyway. Well, you know, some people have to. If they're in the military or things like that, if their husband's in the military and they got to go overseas, then they go. And, and that could happen. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where a lot of this stuff comes into question. Mm -hmm. But when you take two people that are Americans, and they have a child over in Germany, that becomes dual citizenship, mm -hmm. is what that creates. Mm -hmm. Okay, toward that child, or the parents could be either in Germany, or they could be in the United States. Mm -hmm. So that, that's how a lot of that stuff works out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whether or not you believe it, and it all depends on countries and things like that, but... You just got to kind of play with how this works. So, is Ted Cruz, is his parents from Canada? No. They were Ted Cruz's parents. Right? No, it actually came from Cuba. If you look at <laughs> I don't believe this. You, you have no idea about the guy at all. People, and how can you criticize a guy? You don't even know anything about him. I, 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 yeah, people, you can't criticize a guy. We don't know anything about it. Man, that's the thing. I'm, I'm just simply on a topic here, and it's a lot of people have wondered about it. Okay? 
So where is Ted Cruz's parents from? You're saying Cuba? Yep. That's correct. That is correct. I got his book. So where did Canada come in then? His, his, his mother, parents' side was from Canada. His mother's parents. Okay. Well, I'm going to explain something to you. Ted Cruz, Ted Cruz, who was born in Canada, has maintained that there are no constitutional barriers that prevent him from running. Okay? And so far, challenges to candidacy are few and far between. So, he, he wasn't born in Canada. I no, he was born... Just like Obama, you know, the same thing. If he was born in Kenya... You know, which he, which people will say that he most certainly was. No, actually, he was born in Baltimore. He was, the same thing. he was born in Baltimore, believe it or not. He was actually born in Baltimore. That's where he was. Okay. And he was born in Baltimore. So, uh, I mean, he... But his, he was his, in clergy Canada. His, 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 his mother... His mother... His mother was living there. His yeah. mother came from... His uh, mother... Hold industry. it. Stop. Right. Stop. I'm going to step right there. His mother was from Canada originally. Okay, his mother was from Can Canada. His da his father came from Cuba. I'm looking here because I had to Google it, and I'm reading it right off the line. It's stating what all this is. So this isn't my information. All right. I got this. I got my source from Newsmax. I also got my source from the, yes, the Wall Street Journal. Okay. Where'd you get your source from? Did you get from a blogger? Did you get from a blogger? Oh, he's reading from a blogger. He's reading from a blogger, folks. This guy's reading from a blogger. This guy's reading from a blogger. He's reading from a. He's reading from, he's reading from political. Yeah, he's getting it from political. Yeah, we saw the same report. Yeah, he's getting it from political. No, this is from political. Yeah, I know. I, I got. I, yeah, I'm fully aware of that. What we got, we got our sources from. Anything that, that says anything about Cuba, well, other than it says that 19, in uh, 2013, the first term senator already considered a prospective presidential candidate released his birth certificate, which shows his mother was born in Delaware and his father was born in Cuba. Right. So his father was from Cuba. I told you. Situation similar to a father. I told you. I told you. You see, you see. I told. You see, I don't know where you get Canada from. Why did you get Canada from? That's what I want to know. Why did you get Canada from? You see, this is what I'm talking. He was born there. That's why. So he was born there. His parents are on vacation. His parents are on a honeymoon. But his, his parents has legal citizenship. He that makes he, he that makes Canada. him an illegal citizen. I'm sorry. His family was living there because his father was working in an oil industry. No, his father owned, owned a restaurant. It was from a restaurant. His actually, his father owned a restaurant. What well, was? His father owns a restaurant. Now it has nothing to do with the oil. I don't know where you get that. Why does it say? Why does it say that his father was working for an oil industry? Because his father owns. His father is also a pastor too. As well, to say that it doesn't mention that one. I don't read anything about that. Uh, I just. Well, Interesting. I know more about Ted. I'm. I, you know. I know more about Ted Cruz than I know more about Ted Cruz than you do. I tells you something. Uh, you should be happy with the can. You need you. We need we need Jesus Christ back in back back on the throne. Is what we need in the White House. And the only person that is faithful to Jesus Christ is Ted Cruz. And I don't understand why you got a problem with that. I don't understand why. You, um, if faithful. I think I no, we need Jesus back. Is what we need. The only person that's going to bring back religion in this country. I mean, look what's going on right now. You got Target in the damn bathrooms right now. You got you got this problem again. You know this problem. But did you know? Um, since since a boycott has happened, um, when we talk when we talk about this, did you know? All these the, the, the Target has lost over. Eighty billion dollars worth of revenue this past this past quarter. That's correct. Retail sales are down that much right now because of the boycott with Target. They're losing that much money. Everybody's. All, I'm telling. If people want to go to see, go to mypillow.com. You go to pick one up at Walmart. You don't need to go mypillow.com at uh, on. Uh, uh, you don't need to go to mypillow.com. Pick my pillow up at Walmart. 
Two of them for fifty for fifty dollars, forty nine ninety nine at Walmart. By the way, you can actually do this. I've seen it over there. I'm telling you, you can do I this. Right, they did. Right, and it's put. It's a called a play seat. It's called political correctness. That's what we have now, and that's exactly. And it's